Hi guys, this is Bjorn from Gilmorish.com. It's been a while since I've posted on this uh, channel, but I've been busy recording for my new solo album. So uh, stick around for some uh, updates on that uh, later on. Today we're going to explore uh, one of David Gilmore's more unique sounds. This is uh, often referred to as the seagull screams or the seagull sound, uh, which you can hear in the midsection of Echoes on Pink Floyd's 1971 metal album. The sound dates back to uh, February 1970 and the song Embryo, which Pink Floyd performed throughout 1970 and early 71. The song has a midsection similar to Echoes and uh, according to David Gilmore um, he accidentally plugged the guitar into the output of the Vava and um, the cable to the amp into the input and he um, he got this awful screaming uh, sound, uh, which he obviously learned how to control. Uh, and Pink Floyd was, uh, of course, known to explore new sounds and their gear. Uh, so he, he incorporated that in uh, Embryo first and, uh, and Echoes uh, later on. Uh, and I, I've uh, never heard this sound before, uh, apart from David Gilmour. So if you know of any other guitarist that has done this um, and recorded the sound on an album, then please use the comment field below and let us know. So we're going to look at the, uh, the setup. Uh, you need a vintage circuit Wawa pedal. I'm using the Crybaby. You can also use the standard uh, Vox uh, Wawa pedal. But um, the, the signature models and most of the new, newer pedals won't work. So be sure to check out a uh, vintage circuit um, Wawa pedal. Plug the guitar into the output of the pedal and the cable running to the amp into the input. Switch on the pedal and uh, put the sweep all the way uh, back. Depending on your uh, pickups and the model, you might have to raise it just a hair. Uh, but uh, you'll instantly hear the sound. Your amp should be set uh, clean. Don't use any overdrive or um, or fuss. It will only create a lot of uh, noise and uh, and feedback. Use a bit of echo or uh, or delay. Uh, David Gilmer used his old Binson Echo Rec. I don't have a, a Binson Echo Rec, uh, so I'm using this uh, excellent pedal called the Bunar from Donor Prince. Uh, it faithfully replicates the, the, all the features and the sound of the, the old Binson. It's set to 300 milliseconds with quite a lot of uh, repeats and, uh, and level. And um, I put a link up here uh, for uh, my review of this uh, excellent pedal, so check it out. The pickups should be uh, passive single coils. Um, set the uh, pickup switch to the fourth position or the second depending on how you label it it should be these two pickups that are uh, are uh, on set the volume all the way up uh, and uh, roll the lower tone knob all the way back raise it gently and we're going to explore how you uh, manipulate the tone control to get that uh, laughing sound
So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. Uh, I'll be back soon with some uh, very cool uh, reviews and uh, lots more. Uh, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, bell button uh, to be notified uh, when there's new videos. Uh, and obviously, if you haven't, head on over to gilmorish.com and check out everything you need to know about David Gilmore's gear on every Pink Floyd and Soul album and tour as well as tons of tone tutorials, gear, uh, buyer's gear guides and all that stuff. Check out uh, Gilmorish on uh, Facebook and uh, I'll see you soon.